Are you looking for free SEO ways to grow your blog? Well, I'm here for you. My name is Elma from twinsmommy.com and I'm going to show you and I'm going to show you an easy SEO strategy that you can use right now. That's totally free because I want to help you as a new blogger. All right. So if you don't already know, AI is making it super easy for bloggers to grow their blog and be more consistent with blogging. It's also helping you rank much easier than just a few years ago. It's easy to write those listicles that Google loves to rank. It's easy to write that informational post to help you as an assistant so that those can rank as well. But the downside to using AI is that everyone is using AI. And when everyone is using AI, there's going to be a flood of similar types of listicles, similar types of informational posts with the same keyword in mind, with the same type of headlines in mind. And, it's, and in the mix of all this, SEO has been changing. There have been a ton of Google updates, helpful content updates, affiliate marketing updates, SEO updates. And these updates seem to be making keywords almost irrelevant. This strategy will showcase sort of these keywords. It's not as cut and dry. I want you to start thinking a little bit outside of this. Now, I am trying this on my blogs. I have been, it's not my complete strategy. It's not 100% my strategy, but it is part of my strategy. So I want to show you this strategy so that you can adopt it and use it. But you can also just rely on the standard SEO keyword tools, find those keywords, write the same type of post that you see on Google and see if that works as well. But what I'm showing you is something slightly different. So if you want to get ahead with SEO and get some traffic, let's look at my SEO strategy. So I'm just going to go to my demo blog to show you right here. First of all, you don't need an SEO tool for this. These we're going to use free methods, and these methods are to use Pinterest and YouTube. These are not social media platforms or search engine platforms. So if you are a YouTuber, you can use YouTube. Even if you're not, you can still leverage YouTube and same thing with Pinterest. If you have a Pinterest profile, leverage those Pinterest topics for your blog post. Let's see how we can do this. The first way is through Pinterest and I want you to use Pinterest trends. So Pinterest trends is where you want to go to find some blog topic ideas that are rankable. If they are trending, they rank in Pinterest, they'll rank in Google. So if you are in the United States, you can just leave it here. Otherwise, you can change the country if it doesn't already revert to that country. So since my demo blog is crafting, I'm going to put something like knitting and then I can get a quick view of what's trending right now on the uptick. All of these are on the uptick, knitting inspiration, knitting for beginners and knitting patterns, aesthetic, not so much, but knitting machine projects. Interesting. Knitting machine projects got a little bit of an uptick here. I can probably still capitalize that here. Some more here that might be better. Knitting machine patterns. Oh, knitting machine is on the up and up and patterns. Okay. They're all like inter weaving. They're all on the up and up. I feel confident that if I was going to write about this, that if it picks up on Pinterest and gets a lot of views, it's going to slowly rank in Google. So I have all these terms here. So how can I write a unique blog post that actually gets read that isn't the same cookie cutter that blog post titles that you would see on Google? What you can do is uh, add some identifiers, add some best of the year money like it's all budget friendly let me just put these on my blog so i can get some ideas I can use, let's, why don't we use ChatGPT and see what we can get. So I just asked it to give me like sort of this newsworthy type of headline, Google discovery or just Google discover and see what happens. Oh, all right. So we have some here. So knitting machine projects, knitting machine patterns. Okay. Okay. I mean, they're a little bit more fluffy. Okay. Unlock the potential of your knitting machine with these inspiring projects. I sort of like this one. Unlock the potential of your knitting machine with these. Okay. We have knitting machine and projects. So knitting machine projects, so I'm projects and patterns. Let's just get all the keywords in here. This is still too long. Let me see if I can ask chat GPT to shorten this, maybe revitalize. So here we go. It is not SEO focused that much. It is more Pinterest friendly. I, ideally I want the terms here in the front end of this headline, but 
that's okay. So what I did was I tried to get all of these terms in my my headline so that when I write it, I'm going to include these in my blog post. I can include just the main one of the knitting machine and patterns, but then I can use these throughout my blog post. That's how I want you to use SEO. I want you to find those key terms in Pinterest and use that for your blog. Now, just to let you know, I do have a process for affiliate marketing as well using Pinterest. It's called the Ultimate Affiliate Post Workflow Masterclass that teaches you a strategic way to find the topic on Pinterest and then use affiliate marketing to get money from that topic, All right? So make sure you check out that masterclass after this video. Now, if I was going to use YouTube, all right, so with YouTube, you can type in knitting machine and here you can just see from the drop down menu, there's for beginners, there's projects, patterns, all this stuff. So I can add for beginners in my blog post if I wanted to. If I do projects and then use a drop down menu, I can see here lots of different ideas about the easy, about the loom, about a small, circular, all these different types of products. And then I see the number 22, 22. It could be a list post with 22 or 48, but I think this is a type of machine. So when I go and research it here, it looks like it's a machine. So including that machine in your blog post because it's popular on YouTube will again, help you rank in Google. A lot of YouTube videos rank in Google. So you can use just those terms that the YouTube videos have in your blog post so that your blog post will show up too. All right, so what I would do is I would either write separate blog posts about these certain machine projects to supplement what I already have for that Pinterest post. So that again, I'm building that authority, that topical authority that you hear from SEO people. Yeah, there's lots here. I can do just a small knitting projects blog post, a loom knitting machine projects blog post, easy ones. I can do one for beginners. I can do one that sells. These are the projects that will sell on Etsy. Here are panel ones, here are free ones. Here's ones using a specific machine. So all of those can be separate blog posts or if you wanted to, you can include some of them in that original blog post. Let's say you you have, you're writing right now, if you're gonna use Pinterest and YouTube. All right, so there's a lot here that aren't SEO tool related, but they are rankable. If they rank in YouTube, they're gonna rank in Google. Same thing with Pinterest. If that term is rankable, your pin is in the first row. It's like the first few slots in the Google SERPs. All right. So I've done this time and time again. I have old blog posts that tell you that's exactly what happened and it's still happening for this new strategy. That's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to find other words, other ways that are popular on YouTube or Pinterest and then using that for my blog content. So for example, let's see, we find a keyword of gifts for nine-year-old boys, right? That's a popular keyword that you can find it in an SEO tool. You can plug that into YouTube and Pinterest and you'll see lots of gifts for nine-year-old boys and some other ones too, right? What I would do to not make it so SEO heavy is to do something like best tech gifts for nine-year-old boys. So I would even niche down more so that I can get the targeted traffic. Another one, dinosaur cake toppers. That's a huge keyword. It gets there like 25,000 search results for cake toppers that are specific to dinosaurs. Well, there's going to be a lot of a competition there. So how can you stand out? You can write something like 23 fun toppers or for boys who love dinosaurs. So 23 cake toppers for boys who love dinosaurs, right? So I can even be confident that if I wrote my headline like that, that I'm going to get clicks in Google and on Pinterest, if that's where I'm sharing it on Facebook, things like that. All right. So I don't want you to be so cookie cutter with your titles anymore. I don't want you to be so SEO focused on, on just creating that same thing because Google is going, is just having a hard time just fighting the AI commodity content. And then your content's not going to show through that. So you need to be a little bit different and you can leverage YouTube. You can leverage Pinterest to get that traffic. Even Facebook. Now you can get that traffic. So get a Facebook page and share these titles and you'll get traffic to your blog. All right. So hopefully that helped me. Let me know in the comments below if you agree with this or if you're just going to still do your standard SEO. Like I said, it's not my full strategy. I'm still doing standard SEO, but I'm trying this method out as well. All right. So like this video, give it a thumbs up and I'll see you in the next video.